we had a sixteen million dollar house in uh, in Nigeria that I ran away from. I was sleeping in my friend's studio, hot. Man, I would have told. They looking at me crazy, like, yeah. "Boy, you better go home." I said, "I'm not going home." Hey, dude, I would have called your dad. Be like, "Can I be your son?" <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I'm like, man. I'd be like, David done lost his mind, man. I'd be like, David, let's all go back. Big Boy's Big Neighborhood, boy. beautiful day in the neighborhood, ladies and gentlemen. Royalty is in the neighborhood, hey. man. I know you get asked this all the time. How do you say your name? You. My name is David. Right, right. Yeah. But Davido, Davido. I just want to make sure that... Say it, let me hear you. Hold on. I, I just want to make sure I'm saying your name right because when I go to Nigeria, I don't want to get fucked up in the street. <laughs> you, you, you know what I'm saying? Disrespect. A name is very powerful. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I want to make sure I mean, really, that I address you right, King. Yeah, like, I mean, really, like just like in the southern parts of Africa, mm -hmm. they pronounce David as David. So David. if I go to the southern part of Africa, they'll be like, Davido. Davido. If I'm in the western parts of Africa, they'll be like, Davido. Damn. In Paris, like in Paris, it's like, Davido, Davido. Jesus Christ. Uh, I'm so just going to call you Lance. <laughs> <laughs> man, sure. welcome to the neighborhood, bro. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, hey, man, man let me tell you, man. For one, I would have to say, like, the way that your career has been going and the way that we on this Afro beast, or we on this wave that we're on, yeah. that y'all been like, oh, man, with this, we've been rocking like this for years. It's just that the world. The world's not listening. Yeah, the world had to catch up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And with the success of so many accolades and, and being so good at what you do, bro, have you felt that there's been times where you had to not recreate, but almost like keep introducing yourself? Um, not really. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But like I, I I can remember like my first promo run that I did, you know what I'm saying? It's, you know, being being back home for so many years mm -hmm. and you know, Afrobeats has been here for so many years. Right. But you know, we're just getting the recognition. So when when one of my songs blew up in America, I, I was already like yeah. 50 songs <laughs> after that. You feel me? Yeah. So, you know, obviously the label is like, you know what I'm saying? This record is doing well in the States. You know, you need to come out here and promote it. Mm -hmm. And then it's like, it's like, yo, I just did 90,000 people in the stadium yesterday. Yeah, you know man. What I'm saying? I ain't about to, you know what I'm saying? That, that was the mentality. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because, I, I always like to say this, like, African artists are really, like, sport because we have a whole continent. Yeah, man. Do you understand? So, you know, when the music started getting recognition, you know, like, in the States and stuff, so it's, like, kind of started again. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was saying. Does it feel like that sometimes? Yeah, I, at first I was feeling like that sometimes. I'm like, man, I got to do this interview again. Yeah. But then I understood that we have to spread the culture. Right, Do you right, understand? So right. So it's bigger than just It's bigger you, than me. Than so the, I yeah. might have to... You know what I'm saying? Wake up 8 a.m. and right. come and, you know what I'm saying, introduce the culture and just spread the culture because it's, it's much bigger than us. Right. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, so you were born in the States. I was born in Atlanta, yeah. Born in Atlanta, man. And so you go, how long were you in Atlanta at that time before you bounced back or bounced? I, I didn't even stay that long, probably like two months. Okay, oh, okay. It was one of those things because, like, back then, like, the the wealthy people in, in uh, Africa, uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Daddy was easier to come to America. Right, right. And now, Hell yeah, I would, you could have paid to stay with me. I would have <laughs> got, you know got you in. You know what I'm saying? So um, my parents, you know, so my dad, you know, did a uh, couple of years of university in Kentucky. Mm -hmm. My mom graduated from Clark's. Yes, sir. Clark, Atlanta. Yes, sir. So they've always been, you know, back and forth, Lagos, Atlanta. So it was a no-brainer, you know, when they wanted to have me. They brought me to America. Got my passport. Right, right. Yeah, they were like, all right, you good enough? They were right, like, good enough yeah. to fly back? All right, let's go. <laughs> and the passports, man, I can't even lie to you. It's done so much. Really? It's Having that me. American passport? Yes. You know, do, do you have dual citizenship? Yeah, How I got Nigerian work and American. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? So I didn't stay that long. Um, but, you know, just having stayed in both um, countries, mm -hmm. both, I, the exposure is a lot. Do you I know how to live in America. Right. I know how to act when I'm in Nigeria. Right. So that alone helped me, you know what I'm saying, figure out my way through life. Do you, you know go back and forth at any point from Nigeria yeah. to, like, the States or anything I mean, like now that? We, yeah, like, before, like... Beforehand, I, like, early on. Um, No, so I went to Nigeria, you know, stayed in... I'm, I'm the last born of five kids, okay. you know what I'm saying? So, um, most of my siblings, they stayed overseas in school, London, Switzerland... And do they have careers like jobs or? No, they work for pops. If you oh know. damn! Yeah. I heard that, bro. Yeah, they oh work man. For pops. So um, I was I'm the last kid of you know five kids. So 
I was the one that was like, no, I'm doing music. You know what I'm saying? So back and forth, back and forth. After like 50 years, I get sent to America, Alabama. Oh, hell. Oh, Lord have mercy. I went to Huntsville, Alabama, right. <laughs> straight from Lagos, Nigeria. Was like, that a culture shock? Even yeah, though you were of, here yeah, a little because, bit. Yeah, because I think us in Nigeria, we we relate more with like Europe. You know right, what I'm saying? Right, okay. So, you know when everybody's in like high school, everybody's like, yo, what school are you going to? Like everybody's picking their universities. So most of my friends, everybody was going to like UK, London, right, right. Paris. But my dad loves America so much. He was like, yo. Like, you going to Alabama? <laughs> yeah. I'm like, oh, man. So Damn. straight to Alabama, HBCU. Oh, yeah. Um, Oakwood University in Huntsville, Alabama. So, so that, do you stay in college or? I did, the, when I first got to college, mm. I stayed you know, right. in college. After like a year or two, met these Jamaicans, moved out. Uh-oh. They had a yeah. studio and from then on. It was Did over. you grow up with music in your household? Was there music in your house? Did anybody else do my music? My mom, not like literally like musicians, but right. my mom used to throw. Nigerians throw party for anything. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can lose your ring. Yeah, you find find it. it. Oh, oh, for the bottle of <laughs> Find my party ring tonight. Find my party ring tonight. So, no, hold on, let me RSVP <laughs> for the find my party ring tonight. Hell yeah. So, yeah. like, you know, just being at home and, you know, I, I, I have a big family. Mm -hmm. So, obviously, we're always, like, celebrating something. So right. I think that's when, like, the music kind of snuck in. With me, and then I started liking like entertainment. Right. Um, me and my cousins like we do like dance routine. I yeah. used to be, I used to love Jaru. Right. <laughs> Jaru, all those Jaru, Nelly. So like, did you have a lot of influence of hip hop or just? Yeah, like people say, like I do Afro beats, but yeah. I'm, I'm like a rapper. Yeah, hell yeah. Because you know what I'm saying that's what I grew up on. I was a big, big fan of Jaru, Nelly, Fifty Cent. Everybody, like I said, oh, everything G unit, I had it. Right. You know what right. I'm saying? Headband, all that. So it was actually like rap I wanted to do. You know what I'm saying? Then over time, you know, when I finally got to America, upstairs in the dorm, I'm always hearing music like. And this time, I haven't even started recording or nothing. I'm like, what is this music I'm always hearing? So I go, after a couple of weeks, I go upstairs. Oh, I just open, the dude opens the door. and. Behind him, I see like a studio setup. Right. So I'm like, oh, what's this? Oh, I was like, oh, this is why there's always music. Can I come in? He's like, yeah, come in. So he he was doing gospel music. He was a gospel artist that lived like mm -hmm. upstairs. So he's the one that showed me how to get the laptop, get an interface. That was like my first experience of musical recording. So so you just walking upstairs, knocking on your neighbor's door. You look at something and you immediately become intrigued by yeah, it. Yeah, because I always loved it, but like right. I, I didn't really have the push to be like, do you understand? First of all, I come from a family that you go to school, right. after you go to school, you go to go work for pops. Yeah. That's how it goes. Yeah, that's the plan. So and, and you the fifth fifth of the so everybody else is already everybody's doing Everybody's done it. Already. Right, right. Graduated, already works for dad back home. And everybody else is expecting me to, you know, to do the yeah, same man. thing. And I'm not I'm not like I'm hiding it from my pops. It's where it's like the real couple to America story, like right. <laughs> right. real life. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's, I know it's cliche to stay, but right. to say, but it's actually kind of like the same thing. But instead of sending me to America to find a wife, right. he sent me to America to, to Get the, school, find the education. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So he shows me the way around, you know, the music stuff, and I just start watching YouTube, and I start like mixing and mastering. You know, I started off like engineering, mm -hmm. and then I got into producing. Then did you want to be music. an artist? I did it. I I I not that I did want to be an artist. I didn't see it right in right. mind because that wasn't the first snatch. Yes, because of my background. Right. I'm like nah. My dad's not even gonna let me. Right. You know, do that. So. And that, there's a high respect also and honor yeah. of your family. Yeah. And and you listen to it's not like where somebody just say, I don't care what you what you want me to do. No. So you somehow you got to find this balance. Yeah. Of what I'm feeling like I'm falling in love with my dream and the dream that pops because, have for me. Yeah, because back home, we believe that, you know, after God, we really care about who brought us into life. Right, which right. Which is our parents. So there's something we call parents' blessing. We do right. it every time. Whether it's a wedding, whether you're running for a political appointment, whether you're gunning for something. Uh, we, we always say this, oh, I want to go and get blessings from my parents. So if I was going to do this, I definitely had to have my dad's blessing. Right. You know what I'm saying? 
I don't think my dad cared about what I was doing as long as I was successful, mm -hmm. which he later made me see. But trust me, I had a fight. To but you didn't know that at the time. time. No, at the time. And I'm, then I'm there's like, no I'm such like, thing called guaranteed success. For nobody. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then there's, man, it's like, what would we tell, what would I tell my kids about this dream that they have when it's like, man, and especially if you come from education mm -hmm. and business and yeah. there's something different there. For your son to say, I'm going to do music, I'd be like, oh, come he on, He was like, man. bro, and then, then like, Afrobeats was like on the rise, but he didn't get the vision that That's I right. saw. I saw the vision early, you know what I'm saying? And then I was like, man, daddy, this, this is what I want to do. So we had like, I was, a, I ran away from home for like six, seven months. Yeah. Where do you me. run to? I mean, I run. You right, know right, right. Just but just kind of staying away. Yeah. Um, I went to London, you know, that's where I did like most of my recordings. London, then America. Then uh, finally, um, I got some records, you know, organized a little paper. So by this time, my dad, he knows I'm not in school. Oh. He called everybody like, oh, where's my... How do you tell him you're not... Did you, did you tell called, him you left school or you were just I gone? cannot... Eh? <laughs> right. hey, I cannot yeah. look my dad in the eye. And I can't even tell him... Then I was like, I couldn't even tell him, oh, daddy, I want to be a musician. I'm like, what? Yeah. So it was then. So he called the school because he couldn't reach me. He called the school and like, oh, please, I'm looking for my son, David Adelike. Oh, sorry, sir. Your son hasn't been in school for a year. Damn. So, so my sister wrote me on Facebook like, your dad just found out. Yeah. Dad just found out you ain't been in school. So I'm like. That's when you dye your hair blonde, all kind of shit. Went crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, like, I'm already. Yeah. It's already the cat's out, 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 out the bag. You know what to do. You know. Did what I'm he saying? catch up? He had to catch up with you somewhere though. I'm coming getting to that. Oh, go ahead. Now. <laughs> Shit, I got time. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So yeah, so my dad. So I'm like, and there's this thing about like a Nigerian household, especially the big family. Bro, I was like, I cannot go back home yeah, in disappointment. Man. I can't. Before I see my daddy, before my daddy sees my face, <laughs> I have to be a superstar. Damn, that's the. You felt like that was the only way. S to get that is yeah, yeah. Like that, I, that's what I was thinking in my head. Like, bro, I'm not about to walk in that house and everybody look at me like, right. like what are you doing? Like, I want to walk in the house like, yo, you yeah. did that? You <laughs> did that? Yeah. You want to walk in with it like, oh! And, you know what I'm saying? So, eventually, um, so after I was in London for a while, you know, I, I recorded a couple records. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, oh, I'm about to, I'm about, it was three records. So I'm, like, I'm about to take these three records back home. And just try to finesse it. I had some friends in the industry, you know what I'm saying? And then, like, a couple young guys were blowing up, too. Like, people my age was, like, blowing up back home, like, whisking to them. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, I want to do this, too. You know what I'm saying? So I moved back home with the three records. As soon as I get off the plane, police got me. Boom. Bro. So that you hadn't even start working the records? I said as soon as I got off the plane. <laughs> <laughs> Hey man, did your dad send the police? Yeah, it said like the army to get me off the plane. And I'm like, I mean, not like arrest me, but like. Right, right, right. But make back. sure you're coming back to the house. Yeah, like, they, so like, they got me and they put me in the car. My dad's in the car and he hugs me like, where have you been? And I'm his baby. You know what I'm saying? I'm his oh, last okay. kid. He ain't seen me in seven months. I've been on the road. I got um, eye piercing. I got tattoos. I got. He look at me like, oh, he man. crazy. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, he really just wanted me to get my education. So I'm like, yo, what's in it for me? Like, yeah, he was like, he was like, I'll build you the best studio in the world. I said, cat. He, right, right, he right. Built, built me, I had like the best studio in Nigeria. Wow. So that's where the journey really started. But the day was, I got to go to school. I got So he sent me to school four hours away from the city. Oh, But man. the deal is, he bankrolled my career, whatever I want, but I got to go to school four hours away, and I, I can only come home after every two weeks. Damn. So after every two weeks, I get three days off. So I go to school for 13 days, and then I have three days to do whatever I want to do. And at that time, you going to school, you still doing music? So at that time, I'm like, you know, I got a good studio, so every time I get to go home, people come to the come into the studio, you know what I'm saying? Everybody just like, yeah, there's, this, there's this boy. Ah, his daddy doesn't give you anything. Nah, nah, nah. But like people didn't know that I had the plan. Right, so right. So I'm just finessing, trying to like, you know, study everything. And then, you know, I started recording myself. But same time I'm in school. So it's like, every time I'm like getting into it, I got to go back. Yeah. 
So I recorded this song. This is where, the, like, the journey. I recorded this song. And I recorded it so nonchalantly, just like, you know what I'm saying? And I dropped the record on, just dropped it out. But I had a manage, manager at the time. So I dropped it. I'm like, yo, dad, I'm going back to school. I'm about to drop this record. Remember you said you're going to shoot the video for me? So he's like, yeah, I got you. So he pays for the video for me. You know what I'm saying? So I have the studio. I got my video. So I'm thinking... I'm about to blow up and dip again. Right, right. Yeah, I'm gone. <laughs> Go back so, to London. Got your passport. Yeah, like. <laughs> so like after like two weeks, and I, I'm in school and like the service or the phone, and then it's not like today where there's like social media right. and stuff like that. So I'm in school and my boy called me because the record's been out for like two weeks. So my boy called me like, God, David. I said, what? He said, Omo. Omo is like, in my language, like when he say like, man. Mm. So like, ah, I was in the club yesterday. They played your song. All the girls went crazy. I said, what? I said, are you sure? I said, make sure. Are you sure? I said, no, nah, I got to see it. Mm -hmm. I dipped so quick. Yeah. You right start, to the city. You grabbing your backpack. Like, are you sure? Are you, <laughs> are you sure? Yeah. So I get to the city, and then we went out that night. Yo, big boy, when they played that record... Oh, bro. And I, I just saw people jumping, singing. That, is my that was my first experience of fame. Wow. Or any kind of success or any, like, having a feeling or like, oh, I'm getting somewhere. That was my first experience. So I was sort of good. And that must have been, yeah. like, real authentic for you, too. Yeah, bro. And especially and then, just to, like, drop it and then go do what you and then always that, did. And then the record was getting so big. Boy, I didn't go back to school, bro. Right, right. I, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I started getting a little... Club gigs, get like a stack here, two two K. But what about the deal with with pops though? So I, so I, so uh -oh. I'm getting to that. So we start getting the shows, and one day, he, I think he, I think he heard or he saw a billboard of me in the yeah. show. He's like, it's not David. So his <laughs> his security told him like, ah, boss man, uh, your son has the hottest song in the club right now. He's like, what? Blah blah blah. So I got I get booked for the show, bro. They they arrest the fans that came to watch me, my oh. girlfriend at the time, my friends, the promoter. If y'all be David, you go. Anybody was, in there? If you was with me, yeah. you go. If I'm just like this, they like <laughs> and, uh, snatching me up. Yeah. So it would it was like he was doing that. So nobody wanted to book me. Man, so it happened more than once. Yeah, like t oh. twice, twice or three times. The third time, I said I'm out. I ain't go. Damn. Scaled the fence. I was running out. I'll never forget. I was not wearing shoes. Right. <laughs> you know, they not called me. They said they arrested all my friends. They said, uh, the, when I say I don't want to do music again, they should release them. Damn. Crazy. So, crazy. Hey man, so what? when they would when when they would arrest or detain y'all, it was just to kind of shut it down. Nah, but it, not like arrest. Yeah, like, but it was just down. to shut it down. Like, okay, this not gonna happen. Because you got a deal. I got. I'm in school. You know right. what I'm saying? I got like two years left. So. After that, like I'm on the road, like I'm just like hotel to hotel, switching locations, like like a real life right, fugitive. Right. Like, like you're on the run. Yeah, like <laughs> switching hotels, switching SIM cards. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Getting burner phones. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh my gosh. So I went to so I I, re I recorded this song oh, called man. I recorded this song called Dami Duro. Mm -hmm. And Dami Duro in my in my language means you can't stop me. Right. Emma Dami Duro emi omo baba olowo means you can't stop me. Leave me to do what I want to do. I'm the son of a rich man. That is really so. I kind of like gave my dad a shout out. Right. Right. Did you take it as a shout out? Blo yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. Blew up so big. It was so big. I think it was like so. It was like the president's ringtone or something funny like that. Like it was like the biggest record. Right. So yeah. How can so, you deny it? So. They, uh, they called him, let David do this. Because the music is popping. His friends is playing it now. Right, the president right, played right, it. Right. I'm lit. The police is sending to arrest me. They come and they taking pictures. Like, hey, hey, hey. You know what I'm saying? They right up in the front with us. Yeah. They, they let me go. You know, they picking me up, dropping me at home, right. acting like they taking me. You know what I'm saying? So, and then Damn. in school, I'm in, I'm in school, I was a distraction because I blew up. And then Ooh. I couldn't even be in class because everybody looking at me in class. So, from there, then he was just like, "Yeah, he couldn't. Got it. He couldn't fight it anymore." You got, you got it. it. But hey, then after 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 that, he became so supportive. Like every album I drop, he's like, 
he has to hear. He's picking songs. Oh, that's you dope. You know what I'm saying? He's like, no, 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 take this song. Like, this is my last album I dropped. There's one song he wants and he needs so much. Like, I didn't really like the song, but like, no, no, no. He said, leave it on? He must put it on. So I'm like, yo, my dad calling me three times about a record of my album. I never thought this day would come. That's dope. You hey, man, you know what's crazy about that is you hear so many people's stories. And people say, man, I love what I do. Yeah. But that is a love for what you do, was it about the money? Was it right. about nothing? I just love music. Yeah, man. Because and, and to anyone else on the outside looking in, people would have thought like, man, I'm set for life by all I got. All I got to do is go to school. Yeah. When I come home, I got a job. Yeah. I'm secure. You know what I'm saying? To step out on faith, even if you can't see the whole staircase, that's something totally different. Crazy, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that that's when people start thinking about, no, this is destiny. Like and you had to do this not just for you, but think about how many others other people that saw you know, that saw story. The story. True, facts. Yeah, man. So many people come to me, like even like so many because you know now like music has been an avenue, especially for us in Africa. Mm-hmm. Like I can't come here and talk about how proud I am of the government or how proud I am of you know what I'm saying. But I, I can come here and talk about yo, I'm proud of proud of the Nigerian music. I'm proud of you know what I'm saying. The fashion, the culture, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? When I came to America for university, I'm talking to them. They asked me, how did I get here? They didn't even know if you have airports in Nigeria. Right, right. You know right. what I'm saying? Because I'm not because they're trying to be funny, but people are really not educated about Africa. Real talk. And it's not their fault. It's actually not their fault. You know what I'm saying? So I'm so happy that entertainment has been like an avenue to showcase Africa. Yeah, you know, man. in a different light. I remember, man, uh, m- my first trip. I was. I remember I gave somebody like my hotel information. I was like, okay, this is this one. Which country at. is this? I did uh, South Africa. I knew, you know, I knew yeah. you know, yeah. Isn't that the first South- spot we go? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 South Africa is like yeah. America. It looked yeah, like man. America. Yeah. So that's like the safe Africa. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and, and I think that's the first time when people are like, man, I'm going to Africa. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Most times. And I remember I, I hit my uh, hit some people up, and I was like, oh, this is where I'm staying. This is this. This is that. And when I was giving them the breakdown, I was like, yeah, you know, and this is, you know, my, it was like this phone, that phone. They yeah. was like, oh, they got fax machines and everything. I was yeah, like, crazy. yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. And then when I got, when you really start walking around and I'm pretty sure throughout the continent, anywhere you go, bro, it's like media focuses the camera like this. On the wrong things. Yes. And then, but they don't swing around to all this beauty. Yeah. All this beauty and all this lifestyle. Mm-hmm. And that's why, like, my kids are, are are 14 and 16. And now is the time. We done did the beaches. We done did this. Yeah. Now it's that time for us to really get there mm-hmm. where they can totally understand it. Ghana, Lagos, you know, definitely. Um, it's just like I say it all the time. The parts, the, the places in L.A. that look crazy. Mm-hmm. Right, right. That look crazy, you know what I'm saying? But you know what I'm saying? The cameras are showing Beverly Hills. Right. Mm-hmm. I'll Hollywood. show you places in Nigeria now. You'll never believe it. Like, Let's go. We, as we finish this, we'll go right now. Let's go. We got yeah. the jet. You know <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty sure you do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure you had a jet for a long ass motherfucking time. <laughs> <laughs> this, this dude. And that's why I was saying, like, it, it's crazy when you say, man, I could have been on stage with 90 plus thousand people and then. I come out and it's like, okay, in the States, you know, that's why I was saying, do you have to feel like, oh, I got to introduce. But now the way that the music is looking and it's crazy because we've always been kind of like spoiled in America. And by that, I mean, anywhere I traveled, like American groups, artists, they can go a lot of places in the world and people would know their songs, even if they didn't know the language. And now as you start to look around, it's like you look at K-pop. You Crazy. don't know the language. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Anything with Afro beats or anything with 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 anything that's in a, either a different language or a different feel or a different vibe, we gravitate towards that Crazy. now. You know what I'm saying? And that, it's because people are right now, people are like more proud to be like, you know, back in the day you asking people like, where you from? They be like, I'm from LA. Yeah. I asked you that you oh, I'm from Puerto Rico. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm from Nigeria. Oh, I'm from Tanzania. Because now people are getting more comfortable with their culture. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? A lot, like, I was one of the students, when I was in school, I was one of the people in diaspora. I was an African child in the diaspora. Mm. I remember playing my, you know, cleaning up every Sunday, 
playing my African music loud. And they come back to me, yo, I remember my friend, one of my friends, he was like Caucasian. And he came to me like, yo, what's that music you always be playing? It's hard. Not my music, but like right, right, the right. popular Nigerian music at the time. So like I always knew that if we if we got the opportunity to be heard, it's gone. Hey Amen. And it's crazy how famous you could be yeah. without the outside. You I, know what I'm saying? I said there are artists in Africa that they don't want if you book them for show outside Africa, they say it's okay. They are comfortable with there are people in Africa that are doing stadiums, thirty five thousand people, fifty thousand people. Making bank, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Don't have to leave the continent, making millions of dollars, right? You know what I'm saying. And so, we, and, and nine times out of ten, we probably wouldn't know them. Yeah, definitely, That's, man. So like, once the blue moon, you know, some records catch on, right? And then that's when you get the call, like, you know, what I'm saying major labels. You know, I was one of the first to sign to a major label. Yeah, when you look back at the first to sign to a major label yeah. and how early that was. Did you feel I was like, so confused, boy? Yeah, boy. <laughs> yeah. Be, because and and that's the land of somebody else. You know, now we got A and R. Now we got somebody telling you who you and should I'm, get with I'm, what it sounds like. Off just studio. After I recorded the song, I called my boy. Yo, I need some artwork. Right. And we loaded up to YouTube. And, right. And that's it. You know what I'm saying? There's no middleman, no machines, no yeah, so, weight. You know. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, when we first got the deal, I'm telling my boy, like, I hope they don't go to come and change the way we do things because, and then when we got the deal, I'm like, so what now? They're telling me, yo, we got to turn in the album six weeks before. Da -da -da -da. Yeah, we got to do this, we got to do that. And, and then, then what about early features? Did, and, and, and they work. But you know how sometimes it's like, oh, okay, we got to put you with, with such yeah, and such. Yeah, definitely. And I feel like at first that was like, the thing back home, like, oh, I got this person on my song. Now it's like, nah, I don't want nobody on yeah. my song. <laughs> hey, man, I, I, I noticed that now, even it, it's timeless, right? Timeless. Even with that, it's like you will see collaborations with U.S. artists. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But th are there no collaborations with U.S. artists? Uh, on this record? Yeah. No. And right. funny enough, it wasn't intentional. Right. I was just back home at the time. And I just wasn't in America. Right. And um, but my previous albums have had, you know, US artists. But I really just really also wanted to just keep this album about me. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Um, I think just just Dex and Daps from Jamaica. Right. You know, right. that we got, you know, the rest of most of the features are, you know, either Nigerian artists or other African artists. Are you intrigued or are you happy about what we are about to see as well, because you already been looking through yeah. the windshield for a long time mm -hmm. on on where you thought that this could be. Yeah. And now that there's a lot of eyes and ears, are you like, man, y'all ain't seen nothing yet? Yes, I'm. I'm really excited about it. You know, mm -hmm. apart from even just the music, you know, what I'm saying, I, I have a like, I have vision of having our own Coachella. Like, yeah, man. You know, what I'm saying, like, only not only promoting the culture, but owning the culture because it's our own. You know what I'm saying? When we go in the studio, we don't play with samples. We making this from scratch. We don't have no reference tracks. Yeah, man. That You know what I'm saying? You you know how it is over here? Yeah. The album is done before you get in the studio. Yeah, we don't, yeah, we don't yeah. have that. Yeah. We, we're making it from scratch. Natural music from scratch. So it's like, it's different. Hey, man, Davido, do you ever trip off of what we and, and I mean is it's your music, but do you ever trip off for what we probably missed when you say like, man, like, bro, do you know how many songs I have, bro? You know, yeah, yeah. and it's crazy, man, because that's the one thing, and and the one thing I also noticed, even with timeless, bro, it doesn't have to grow on me. Soon as it comes on, boom, straight, it up. take me somewhere, bro. You know what I'm saying? So it's not like it got to grow on me. And even my wife, man, like, even when I was listening to Timeless, as soon as we put she, as soon as I see my wife doing this, hey. I'm like, oh, I want to fuck. I want to fuck. <laughs> Aside from saying I want to fuck. <laughs> but, but I'm telling you, man, like, you can't not like it. You can't fight it, bro. Bro, you should, you should, see, you should, you should see us creating, like, the creative process. Like, you know how, like, hip-hop, you know, everybody in the studio... Smoking, bro. We sweating. Right. Tank top, 
Everybody oh go, everybody God. bringing ideas. There's there's one of the songs called Feel. Mm -hmm. uh, so there's something I said in the song, and that's that thing is like it captures their soul. I, all I said was, Aya, that Aya. <laughs> when you were in the club, is that them go there, them go feel it, uh, them go run it. Aya, right. when you is going. So like Afro beats, like man, like down to the drums, down to the strings, down to the live guitar, the bass. Bro, it's, 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 yeah, you and feel that, it. That energy, you can't match that with anything else, though. You can't, you can't, especially like when I go on tour, like it's about to get serious. Really? Yeah, July. You know, we go. Where, on tour where, where, did, where will your tour take you in July? Um, I'm doing like a six arenas. Okay. First, uh, we started DC. Oh, so you, you this is states. Yeah. I heard that, yeah. bro. So we doing DC. <sighs> I think we do Toronto, Chicago, Houston. Atlanta. Is that crazy to see that on, on your itinerary for 2023? Yeah. Probably 24 as well? Uh, uh, 24, yeah. I'm, Is that crazy to see that on your itinerary and not seeing that like years ago? Like now you look and you're like, bro, like, look Yo, where we're going. Ago, it's crazy. Years ago, it's like, I would never even imagine like I'd sell out arenas. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And right now, it's just like crazy. Like, they even talking about double nights, triple nights. Hey man, what does it feel like for like and, and to, for people that you'll say, man, like, nah, these dudes, they at home, they selling out arenas and, yeah. and stadiums and yeah. they doing their thing and they don't even want to come. Yeah. What does it feel like, man, when you're also one of those artists that everybody know and completely identify right. you to mm -hmm. what's going down? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because you are a name and a face. For what we're fa what we're yeah, falling in love yes, with or what yes, we love. Yes. It's amazing. Like, you know, just because apart from the fact that, you know, I'm, you know, half American as well. Right. You know, like I said, I've lived it on both sides. So I've kind of known how to, you know, finesse my way, you know, through the industry. Like even in Atlanta, I've been around them little baby and thugging them <laughs> yeah. before little yes. baby even blew up. You know what I'm saying? So it's like they kinda kind of like identify with me. You know what I'm saying? Um, and you know America. America likes people that can talk. Right. Mm. You know what I'm saying? They want you, they want you to go talk to a talk shit. show. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I just like, it wouldn't do the Afro beats. I took that hip hop swag. Like, you know, you got the crew, you get the whole crew chains. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. You, like, making the lifestyle, making so it look crazy. You knew what to, what to grab and like, oh yeah. Come on. You know what I'm saying? Like, we started all that. Hey man, you know when we saying? say Afro beats, are we saying it right? You know how sometimes we take a broad stroke and we put everything under Afro So beats. it's not meant, that's not as meant to be. Yeah, so talk to me, yeah, bro. that's actually not, uh, you know, Fela Kuti is the real originator of Afro beats. Mm -hmm. Afro beats is a, is a kind of African music. Do you understand? It's a certain kind of like sound. Right, okay. Which was mostly done by Fela Kuti. I know that name. Yeah, Fela Kuti, yeah. Yes, yes, sir. Legend. So... And one of the first countries to acknowledge um, new generation African music was London. Mm -hmm. Big African following, following yeah. in London. You basically bump into an African every three people. <laughs> yeah. So there was an article that was done in one of the big newspapers. Because I think there was like a wave of African music in London. So I think the caption said, Afro beats here to stay. Or just a wave or something like that. Mm -hmm. So after that, they just ca categorized everything under, under after Afro beats. And then beats. it went too far to even be like start Bring arguing. it back, yeah. I'm like, you know what? We just trying to get hair. So right. <laughs> if y'all want to ca call it Afro beats, go ahead. You know what I'm saying? Right. Because, yeah, I was wondering if they took just like a broad stroke and like, oh, yeah. everything Because, okay, here. if you go to Nigeria, we have artists that do R&B. We got artists that right. rap. So do you, it's, that's African rap. You can't call it Afro right, beats right. If it's a hip hop song, but you know what I'm saying because we're African, we're categorized as that. And so your tour starts in July. Yeah, it starts in July. Um, you first go to you do, do US, then we go to Europe. We do Paris. We do Germany. We do all of that, and then we go to Asia. Then we go to Australia. I'm going to Japan. I can't wait. Hey man, how crazy is that? Like when we say even the the language barriers, right? Yeah. But you can't deny this. 
music. You know what I'm saying? Like you can't deny that. I have a perfect that. story for that. Please. So I wasn't. Um, I went to this country and it's they, they don't but they don't even know what hello is like. You know what I'm saying? So I'm in the hotel and I call downstairs because I'm getting ready for the show. So I call. See, so the guy comes. I'm like, um, can you help me? I on my shirt. I on. I on. He said, okay, cool, 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 cool. He takes my shirt. After like 30 minutes, I'm like, yo, what? I said, he said, I give you tomorrow, I wash. I'm like, no. Oh. So like he thought I said, go wash my, I just bought that outfit. Like that was the only thing I had to wear. Oh. But when I went to the show that night, they sang every word. They came out. Damn. Isn't they that crazy? Every word. I'm saying they don't do hello. Hello, yeah. they don't do them like once I just start, oh, do you guys did it? That's Galala. Hey, but this is not go cost Galala. What country and were you in? I was in Congo. Damn. The Congo. Crazy. And so, hey, man, and it's crazy when, and, and that's wild because when you think about international, and the same thing when you were saying about, uh, like, can you iron my shirt? Yeah. We used to do, a, I used to do a lot of tours and shows in Japan. Okay. okay. And I remember, man, we went to uh, Hiroshima, Hiroshima, Japan, and I asked for an iron. And they didn't know what I was talking. They like, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. And they the ironing board. So I'm just like, all right, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? And I remember even there, it was such, and, and, and you know, you go to Tokyo, certain spots like that. It's like, okay, it's Western, it's modernized. Yeah. Then you go to other spots where it's like, they kind of, they ain't messing with you. You know, Fukuoka, no, not Fukuoka, but uh, Hiroshima. Like, they, And we got that museum over there where yeah. it's like, you know, the war and everything. So I was like, man, is anybody coming out to this show? Crazy. It's, it felt anti-American at one point. And then I'm like, who's going to come see some dudes from yeah. L.A. That, that that rock out here? And when we got to our spot, ridiculous. <laughs> they they found us. They came out. Maybe it was the only ones that was fucking with us. <laughs> <laughs> but but they came out, man. And, and you got to see these experiences throughout the world. I, I had that kind of experience in Ukraine. <laughs> so we let you. Isn't it crazy where music takes right. you to? And, then, and like before the show, you're like, yo, is there anybody going to be at the show? Yeah, like, do they I'm know me? I no tweets. I ain't even seen no ads. Right. Get to the show. So we, in Ukraine, oh my God. people fly down from so many different places. You know, a lot of Africans, they run away from home. Like, right. From young Never gone back, but like they're happy to see like oh, oh we have a star coming from Nigeria. Like that's something that they they can at least closure. They can't go home, but they can see a Nigerian superstar, so they have some type of you know closure with home. So we get to the show, we, 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 we they came to pick me up. So I'm getting dressed. I'm like, I'm like yo, it's twelve o'clock. Like, You're like I'm gonna iron my own stuff this time. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, I already had clothes. Yeah. So we get to the show and it's like he said this is sound check. I'm like yo, how who does sound check it? 12, 12 a.m. Like, so I'm getting mad at the promoter. Like, yo, what? Man, shit better be sold out. I'm trying right. to look good. Two, three hours. He said, just go to the back. Two, three hours later, when I came back out, I said, what? I first told the crowd, first of all, what the fuck y'all niggas doing here? Yeah. <laughs> so many And at people. what time do you walk out on stage? It's so like 2.33. That's crazy, huh? And then, then you have the Africans. Then you have the Africans that married the Ukrainians that love African music and they spread it. You know what I'm saying? So it's just spreading. Hey man, you know is it saying? crazy to be on stage in the Ukraine or some of the places that you've been with something that you created either at home or you know what I'm saying? Like and it's it crazy. translates. Like, yeah, especially like like a tablet album. The producers I worked with were basically like new producers. So I was, I be telling them like, when you the studio, I'm like, you know, you about to blow up, right? You know what's coming. You know what's coming. They, they, so they don't. They, they were like, yeah, yeah, thank you for the opportunity. I said, you don't know. Once it came out, so I remember like two weeks after the album came out, I took all of them to the club. They were so, they were like, bro, we were just in the room, making this, and now the whole world is dancing to it. Like, it's, it's not mind blowing for me because right, I've done it a right. lot of times. But you knew. Because you experienced it, yeah. you knew. Oh, I yeah, like I'm a damn near a fortune See, I, teller. Like I know what you're about. I know I've been like, there. You know what I'm saying? So it, that was amazing for me to see. Like seeing that my music has changed somebody's life. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's one of the biggest records on the album is called Unavailable. Yeah, and yeah, the, yeah. And the producer of that record 
it just and sometimes every day I just go to his page and just see I just to see how his life has just changed. Even if it's his phone camera clearer. <laughs> 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 right, he got more pixels like yeah. Damn. Hey man, but 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 the, is is unavailable considered a single? Yeah, that's yeah. the first single we going with. You know what I'm saying? Oh no, no, no I might yeah. go Chris Brown house tonight. Right. We gonna do. <laughs> oh really though? Yeah, me and him we gonna do the challenge. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, and when you were saying early on when you didn't know you had a hit record because it wasn't like you could just hit send or hit around the world because social media yeah. and now you think okay now, now you got social media now you think you're like bruh, okay what's you know and, and somebody will grab something and it's tiktokable bro yeah oh when i was doing this album i, I told the producer wait which part of this song can do you think do for TikTok? <laughs> yeah <laughs> because like and, and that's just generational change right. yeah you know what i'm saying Back then, we just think about, oh, we got promoted on radio or YouTube. Now you got to think, damn, it's like 20 apps. Yeah, man. 20 different apps that, you know, are musically, musically inclined that, you know, you have to promote. So everything is changing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But you know what's the trip about that is that you you know that. You know how some people, that, like, they don't know how to tap in or they don't want to tap in or they say, man, I'm not a TikTok artist. No, you're not. But they're going to find it anyway. You every, know what I'm saying? Every artist... You, yes, you have your managers, you got your publicist, you have your, even down to your security. Mm -hmm. But the truth is that every artist should know what they want. Right. You should be in charge. Do you understand? Because if everything go left, it's you. Right, right. So yeah. all that nonchalant attitude. And that's why I said, you know, I've lived in both wor worlds. You know what I'm saying? Today I can be like, yeah, man, I'm on my American shit. Yeah. And then as I'm doing that, I get slapped in the head by the other, you yeah, African man. Right. Respect yourself. Do you understand? So, so many instances I've used living in both worlds. Even like with security, even like, you know what I'm saying? I can peep myself where, you know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like we go to. Like you're on top of it probably before what? they are. You, you already know. So I'm like, yo, we out. That type of shit. So that's my American side. Mm. And then my African side is, you know what I'm saying? You know, I'm very generous. We go out, we spend. Oh, yeah, everybody. Oda, 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 Oda. That's African for you. That's. The David African side and the women love the African side because <laughs> right, 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 right. You know what I'm it's free. Man, <laughs> hey man, when when you first start getting in, did you get any resistance when people knew that you had an American passport? Like, oh, he was born in America. Was that a was that an issue or you uh, had, was you had so much blood in you anyway? Because yeah. you know what I'm saying. It's like mom. I, mean, I don't think like because people didn't really know about my passport like the early part of my career. Right. Um, well, I think what where what was kind of difficult for me was, you know, coming out and my background. I come from a very wealthy background. Gotcha, gotcha. You know what I'm saying? So everybody just felt like, nah, his dad's this is money. Yeah. But like, bro, what record? Yeah, his dad two records. Yeah, three records, four records, five right, records, right. fifty records, right. hundred what? Then they're like, yo, before like they had to agree, like, okay, he's actually good. Right. You know what I'm saying? And, and then when somebody say, oh, dad, like you gave up a lot people, to do people, what you, you know, were going to do. Know, people love the grass to gray story. Right, 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 right. People love, everybody loves the story of, yeah, I was down bad, now I'm up. You know what I'm saying? I've never been really down bad. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because my pops. But, but you were passionate about it. And passionate. you were ready to give it up though. Yeah, definitely. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. Like, because I'm going to. we had a $60 million house in the, uh, in Nigeria that I ran away from. I was sleeping in my friend's studio. Hot. Man, I would have told. They looking at me crazy like, yeah. boy, you better go home. I said, I'm not going home. Hey, dude, I would have called your dad be like, can I be your son? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm like, man. I'd be like, David done lost his mind, man. I'd be like, David, let's all go back. No. <laughs> yeah. That's how they were looking at me like, right. I just said, you start. But there's a call in there, bro. There's like. You know, they're like, my, guy, they're like, my guys are telling me, man, guy, you don't understand. Oh, more guy be going home, bro. and then I'm like eating noodles. Like people, like yeah, he got to a point where everybody's like, "Bro, are you trying to are right, you, right, you right, trying to be born?" Like <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I was like, I just kept on saying, "But you don't understand my family." Like, and I knew like once I went back, they gonna lock that gate, boy. Yeah, yeah, and you never get out of. <laughs> so I'm like, nah. So even Damn. like the friends I was staying with, the police will send letters like, "We here, you have David Adelike inside your house. If you if if." If we come back and he's here, we're going to arrest him. I'm like, damn. 
I can't do those shows. Hey. <laughs> no, I can't. I, I got nowhere to sleep. Yeah. Like, man, I'm on the floor, oh, bro. No, no floor. No. Right, right. <laughs> bro, it was crazy. Like, but that record, and I remember, like, you know when something good is about to happen, you kind of feel it. Yeah. You know, you, you know, you kind of feel it. So I remember that record. I was just like, because I, I had the, the uh, like a flash drive. I, I mixed the best of that one record that blew really, really solidified. The record I was telling you that the president liked. Yeah. The, you know, the whole country like the the, the, the mixing and mastering master process of that record. I had nowhere to go. No studio. Call one of my friends. I'm like, yo, can I come uh, mix and master this record in your house real quick? He's like, yeah. Come over before like my wife get home. So I, I, I run over to his house. Yo, I'm just there rushing. All I'm doing is I'm turning everything up. Right. The yeah. Poo, 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 poo. Uh, export. Bah! Got it on a flash drive. I went out that night, gave the DJ from that night. Felt like God was just right to my story. Yeah, man. Pop, pop, pop. I was like, man, I do believe in miracles, man. I've seen it happen in my life. Countless times. Hey man, and do you yeah. feel like now you and you know how some sometimes people say, man, I think I got the blessing, so I they can said, bless others. So, somebody, somebody said something so funny. He said, man, God be choosing people sometimes. Right, right, yeah, he's choosing <laughs> me. But you gotta think though, man. And when people say, oh well, he came from this, he came from that. How many people probably had a family member or a hookup? But they couldn't produce. They what? couldn't do what after you're me, doing. After me, right? A lot of like billionaire kids. That became the avenue. No, they, they started doing music, bro. No, one of them blow up. Yeah, just yeah. me. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And you know it's a trip, though, man. I don't know. And in, in, in my business, and I've been in radio mm -hmm. down there 30 years. Your pops couldn't have came to me and said, "Make this a hit record." It's See? not gonna happen. See. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I can't turn. I, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I can't turn shit to sugar. So and, and people will know because you can't lie to the people. Yeah. You can't lie to the consumer, bro. You know what I'm saying? And people that probably gravitated towards you early on and now don't know your story. Sure. They know your music. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that music speaks for you first. And that's what I think people fell in love with, bro. You know. And now as we see what this landscape is starting to look like. You got to be extremely excited about what these tomorrows about to look like, too. Uh, well, I was just saying, I was just, I was just the other day I was, I was in the living room and I was just smoking, chilling, and I just smiled. And my mom was like, "What you smiling?" At? I'm like, "Well, we about to get so rich." Yeah. <laughs> you you, you got to put an ER on there. <laughs> Richer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. So I, I'm gonna tell you, bro. Like just watching the pieces of the journey that I know, yeah, and then looking at where I feel like it's going and where you know your destiny is going, bro, yeah. and how excited you are for what's coming as opposed to the things that you've already done. Yeah. Because there's so many accolades already and so many firsts, and you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. what's coming next, you're like, oh, my God, bro, this is what I've been working for. Crazy. Like, especially for me, you know, being the, be the, like I said, I'm from here and from Nigeria, so for me to see my culture being... <laughs> represented yeah, in man. America. Bro, I'm so happy, man. Hey, man, was it ever a time when you were either doing music or when you were coming back and forth from school where people didn't take you serious here? Of course. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah definitely, definitely. Um, even, like, from when I signed the deal, you know what I'm saying? Like, even, like, the producers they were putting me in with, you know. Right. They were not even, like, but now... You know what I'm saying? I got a studio session. Like, yo, yeah. Davido! But you know what's so true about that, too, bro, is that... But there's that's life. Also those, and there's it also those stereotypes that you sit down and you 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 erase stereotypes okay. and you you let people know what the landscape of home look like yeah. and, and what the grounds look like. Yeah. You know, because there's sometimes people don't know and the first thing they go is to ignorance. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And so when you when you sit down and you change it, not change, but when you change the person, you change the world, bro. I'm happy you said that. I was in San Francisco two though. Three years ago, mm -hmm. I had a show, sold out, crazy. So I'm outside the hotel, I'm smoking, right? And this lady, and she, she was just, she just didn't understand. Not that she wasn't, she wasn't like being racist or nothing like that. She was just, so she walked up to me like, "Oh, what are you guys doing here?" She see my watch, she see everything. She's like, "But how? Like, what are you?" I'm like, "Wait." Like I knew, I, I knew where she was going. She's basically mm -hmm. like, you know, like. 
call the police. What are, what are these people doing here? Type, you know what I'm saying? So I said, no, we're African musicians. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Africa. Blah, 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 blah. So I spoke to her. We spoke. Before I knew it, she was even interested in my story. She sat down. I was like, yo, we have a show tonight. I'm showing her my videos. You know what I'm saying? And she was sold. Like, yeah, I'm, man. I'm sure, she, I'm sure she probably got like an African boyfriend right <laughs> yeah. now. You know what I'm so, me just seeing that, like, yo, I changed this woman's whole yes, man. mindset in 15 minutes. Because she was about to be on some, oh, yeah. what are you doing here? How did you Karen afford? Stuff. Yeah. She was like, uh, how did you guys afford this yeah. hotel? I think it was at like the Ritz Carlton. You're like, bitch, I own it. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? You know what I'm saying? So that was just cool to see that, you know what I'm saying? Just for me having a conversation with somebody, you can change their mindset. So imagine if it's everywhere for them to see. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, do you ever trip off of people don't know how, and not braggadocious, not, not bragging on yourself, yeah, yeah. but do you ever trip off of people who probably don't know how super successful you are? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Man, that's gotta be crazy. So, yeah, it's crazy. So there was one time, <laughs> you know, there was one time in Houston. So I think this promoter, I don't want to say that, but this promoter, like, she was just like, I think she liked me. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you know I think she you, liked me. Go ahead yeah. now. So she was just like acting weird, but so she she said something like, Oh, like, I knew she knew me, but she was like, Oh, I don't even know you. Like, you know when you just try right. to get a reaction? I don't even know you. I'm like, I don't know what to do. So I, I called my fan club. I said, fuck her IG up. Bro, yeah. she had like 50,000 comments. Oh, yeah. Hell Bro, yeah. You die. Who hit you? Yeah. Yeah, talking about yeah. that, yeah. She called me and said, yo. They yo, was like, it's God. <laughs> the the yo. <laughs> <laughs> yo, so like that was so crazy to see. I, that happened one time. Oh. The other time, um, I went to the spot in Atlanta. And you know what? The security just being extra. Hey, can I get anybody in the line, please? Mm. Hey, sir, um, stand over here. I'm like, you. I said, bro, you do you do it too much. Right. I, I be going in or we not going in. So I was like, I don't know what to do. I left the club. I told my oh, yeah, go to that page or that that club. Destroy that. The next day, the club hosted me. Oh, get yeah. me food. Get oh, yeah. Me <laughs> yeah. <laughs> be like, man, they 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 messing with your boy over here. Mm -hmm. They messing with your boy. I'll get my fans at you quick, boy. Yeah, man. <laughs> and, and, and you know what's the trip about that, man, is that you understanding your power and your will. And not power for crazy stuff, yeah. but power and your will, bro. And yeah. like, and not just carrying something that's on you. Because, like we say, it's bigger than you. Yeah. It's bigger than the music. There's a lot of responsibility yes. that come with what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I'm obliged. Yeah, yeah, I feel you. Know you. I feel you. I feel like I'm obliged. Hey, Amen. Like and and the thing about it too, man, is even when you say you started from like engineering, right? That is, and you say you, when when you say let me let me master this, let me master this at yeah. your house. You already know what it should sound like, what it should feel Cause, like. Yeah, because of you know production, just yeah. you know, having you know the ears. Like I already know. What, I already know what parts are going to make the girl. Right. I already know the parts of everything. So you already know, like, when we hear, it's coming. It's coming. Yeah. Ah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> hey, man, are there any overweight, uh, like, either Afro beats or performer? Because y'all energy. Yeah. Bro, you know, I, you probably don't know. I used to weigh over 500 yeah, I, I pounds. Remember, yeah, okay. I remember. I remember. I would have died at one of y'all shows, <laughs> you know, from the energy. <laughs> you know, like y'all, you energy gods, bro. Bro, my my bodyguard just told me he was looking at me like, "Yo, you, bro, you crazy, too much energy." Like, yeah. <sighs> like even when I'm in the studio, I like it sweaty, hot. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? Back home, we party till like. Back home, I don't even go to the club till like 4:30 a.m. Ain't that a crazy oh. man? But let me tell I you, I go to bed. 12 o'clock, I tell my yes. boy, wake me up at 3, and we get ready. I be in the club, 4.35, yeah. and we party till like Amen. 11. Oh Is it gosh. crazy when you go to certain plates in the States and they start saying last call at 145? Or the worst is L.A. Yeah. Yep. Man, yep. 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 swipe my card, $8,000, <laughs> but the drink is like still full. Yeah. Uh -huh. Club is closed. I'm like, Yeah, man. What? Hey, man, I re there, there's been spots that I've been like, oh, okay, what time are we going? They're like, oh, we'll be at the hotel at 2 and 2. I'm like. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like when you don't know early on, and I remember, man, walking out of the clubs in sunlight, 
Like you'll walk out, and you're like, oh hey, shit. Dubai. Yeah, oh my God, bro. I gotta get to Dubai. You ever been? I haven't been, man. It's the last Dubai trip. I was all oh, He oh, said dude, this dude, last, last one. I my man, I my man didn't say uh when I went to Dubai. Yeah. He said this last one. The one and only time. All right, no, no, now no. you're being bragging. Now you're bragging. <laughs> all right, so I got so I, 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 I got a residency in Dubai. So Wow. So like Congrats. you know Usher got the residency in Hell Vegas. yeah. So I got one to Dubai. How I, often do you get to Dubai every, for your residency? Every two months. Big bad. Oh my God! Bro. I go out there for a little bag. You know what I'm saying? I, I go out there for a shit, a little uh, glad bag. You know what I'm saying? A little saying? clutch. Yeah. A couple comps. Man. Yeah, but I, I love the Middle Just East. Just get me though. over there, free Dubai, and you know, with, without the charge to me. I, I love the Middle East. They really like appreciate African music so much. Say it. You know that's how like I closed the World Cup. You know what I'm saying? I know, man. That was crazy. Dude, how that's insane. Crazy. That's why when you came in, I said, Mitch, you at World Cup. He was like, well, you were there? And I was like, nah, I wasn't. <laughs> but, but it's crazy, man, because when we think about soccer and football, it that is a world, world sport. sport. Yeah. And World Cup is pretty much one of the biggest events in the world. There's people that'll say, okay, the Olympics, yeah. World Cup, you know, whatever, NASCAR, international. Mm -hmm. yeah. Formula but, One. Yeah, if, international. But the World Cup, crazy. all Eyes crazy. are on the World Cup. Yo, and it was so crazy. Like, what, was, what was that call like when the they said, this is what we want you to do? Crazy. Funny enough, I wasn't even meant to get the gig. You know what I'm saying? It was just like me just being cool. So I got the gig to be on the album, the, uh, yeah. the World Cup soundtrack. Mm -hmm. So obviously they flew out the artists out there to Qatar. Ooh, Qatar, they got the best hosp hospitality. It's crazy. Like they, they, It's really like rose petals the whole oh. way. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, I went to Qatar, and just from the 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 production of everything, so we was in the studio recording, and they just liked my vibe. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wasn't even meant to be on that. Like, they already finalized who they wanted to wow. perform at the closing. So they just liked my vibe, like me being in the studio, like playing around with everybody. Like, there was even this artist, always like... Yeah. So I went there, I'm like, why are you always bullied? Just, Smile, everybody like damn. Yeah, Nobody ever makes that guy smile. <laughs> I said, bro, I make people smile. So just my vibe, even being in the hotel, you're like, yo, no, no, you like this guy's vibe. You gotta call him back. So um, I was just, you know, at home, and my lawyer called me. He's like, yo, I said what? I said I think you go. Get... I said the bed, the bed ward. Not the right, I, right, I, I right. trying to do the pre events. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. Even though back in the days you would have been like, yeah. Right. So the main word, bro. Got there. Lit. I remember walking into the stadium. Oh my lord, bro! You looking at it now, huh? You can see it that now. I was like, Whoop. hey man, and I'm just wondering. Not only having that world stage, what does that feel like? What what does the accommodations look like? What does the transportation look like? What does the what does the eating I look sit like? At the hotel, everything goes. Damn. Tops, food. How many people do you Damn. travel with? Because I would be uh, man if they no, were like. I took we, everybody. I was yeah, like, hell yeah. Nah, you can get it too. You can get it too. <laughs> yeah. No, I took, a lot I, I took, oh I took, my god. I took my man. wife and her uh, sisters. I took uh, my family. So we were just in there like thirty of us. You know hey so, man, did your dad you know. go with you? Nah, nah, oh nah, yeah, nah. man! <laughs> but dad, dad, dad got to look at the success now. You were saying like he picking singles Crazy and putting dude. songs Yo, on. Let it. me tell you something that was so beautiful. So my dad, he's been trying to because he has a lot of friends in high places. So I he, can tell he's been trying to look for the, the the president of like the World Bank or something funny. He's been trying to get to the guy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The Come guy's on. at World Cup. Sees me in the hotel. Oh no, bro. Listen, sees me, yo, this is one of the, like, the defining moments of my life. See me, tell, ah, oh, Davido, I, I enjoyed your performance. I'm the president of the World Bank. I said, oh, hold on. Hello, daddy. Oh, flex. I'm the, the president of the World Bank. Oh, give me the phone, give me the phone. Connected the deal, nigga. Damn. Just like that. <laughs> Hell yeah. Just like that. Yeah, man. Yeah. Oh, man. So that, that's the, when I would have got my phone back and FaceTime dad, like, yeah. Yeah, pop. World, world, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> world Bank. I found him. <laughs> really, he found me, Pop. That's amazing. So that was beautiful to see that. Yeah, man. From my old music. Mm -hmm. My daddy, my daddy's yeah. even enjoyed it. My friends enjoy it. My cousins enjoy it. My family enjoys it. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, man, so it's crazy because you would have probably changed a lot of lives. Affected a lot of lives with yeah. your dad's business yeah. and then working and doing your thing. Yeah. But you man, you can't count 
how many lives. <sighs> and I'm talking about even just I, from every a day, show. Every day, every day. Just from, because, you know, music is our release, man. Yeah. In the worst times of my life, I had music to go to. Me too. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about, man, homelessness. Yeah. You know, the, the, the death of my mom, my bro, whatever it may be. I had music. music. Crazy. And do music always took me away. Even when I was homeless, music put me in a mansion. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. and, and that's the feeling that people have when you get down. Crazy. Is that there's a connection. People come to my shows. Yeah, man. And they're just like, yo, I needed that. Yeah. Like, Damn. And me, I'm just chilling, just doing yeah. my thing. We like, it's crazy. I can, and even just with people saying, oh, he's coming. Because yeah. you got to think, when when somebody came, I don't know if you went to concerts early on, yeah, yeah, but or part, even you, you, you knew what you were going to wear. Yeah, you yeah, couldn't wait go, for the person oh, yeah, okay, to get yeah, there. Get ready. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. like the world is waiting right now. Somebody in in about a month, two or three, gonna be calling downstairs to get an iron. Crazy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then they're gonna wash their clothes and fuck the outfit about, up. Um, did you hear about like what the fans did for my birthday last year? No. I heard. What? That was crazy. Oh, yeah. Yes, man. So I wanted this. I, we was I'm gonna try to do that this year. <laughs> <laughs> so I wanted this protect Philippe, right? So I told my boys, I'm like, yo, everybody, I got like a hundred friends. If everybody drop a, a, a stack, I'm gonna yeah, get the you got so, it. so that was like the original plan. So we went to the club that night. I got so drunk, bro. Oh my so God. I went to the, I was in the balcony smoking. It was Dubai smoking cigarettes. Go ahead, and yeah, um, <laughs> hell yeah. <laughs> hell yeah. So I, I told my boy, I'm like, yo, I'm about to tweet my account number. Cause I don't want a bank that I, I don't really use. I had like five thousand in there, so I was like, "I'm about to tweet my bank." I tweeted it. I went to take a shower. I came back. Ha! Huh. Forty thousand dollars. Fifty thousand dollars. Six to five hundred and forty thousand dollars in twenty four hours. Jesus. My Christ. fans donated. Do you cancel the account or do you keep it? So, so, so it's going crazy. Blah blah blah. My phone rings. Uh oh. I said, Dad. Oh no. I know what you're about to say. Oh. oh. What? You know, you can't keep that money. I'm like, oh, come on. He's like, I can't keep it. You don't need it, blah, blah, blah. So um, we decided to give, uh, so, so I had 540000 Oh, Jesus. Then I added 50000 to my own money, and we donated $600,000 to all the motherless babies' home wow. in Nigeria. Every dime went to I heard that. Last baby, so, so that was kind of dope. No, that's a, that's, that's a beautiful you know. story. Yeah. In the long run, you, you was probably thinking, it was I could have just, just, I, I just bought my own watch. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and then people, the, people were really just sending the money because of the support of things I've done over the years. Right, so right, it, right. It was just like payback. Right. Because they know you day. didn't need it. Yeah. But they was like, man, this Showed is my God. Showed the appreciation. I yeah. cried that day. Yeah, I'm going to do that this year for my birthday, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You, you And you uh, you raised 540000 yeah. Man, I get $540, I'm winning. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I take 540 right now, Jack. Believe that. Davido, man, thank you for coming into the yeah, neighborhood, thank bro. Thank you, man. It is a pleasure to have you in the neighborhood. True, I, used to, I used to watch all this Time, hey man. man, I appreciate it, bro. Since and like time. I told you, man, like at some point you're gonna run into me on a different soil. I'm coming, I'm definitely, coming somewhere. Definitely, you guys. Def I do a festival every year uh -huh. in Lagos. In Lagos, all yes. right. Actually, I'm about to start the festival in America. No, nah, so I, I don't want to go to the one in America. No, I, I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, I've been, man, <laughs> I've been to too many festivals out so here. It's good, it's good to start. So in Lagos, you know, what I'm saying when is come, it? December. All we right, go, we go I got in. time off too. Yeah, December, y'all should come down. It's, 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 Hold on, don't look at everybody. I'm coming. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. I'm, but I'm, definitely, I'm, definitely, you need to definitely experience. You're not it. gonna forget me, right? Never. What, okay, big boy. What come on, man. All right, believe that, man. Cause I, I, I start to go I, fund me right now. I'm gonna pick you up from the airport by myself. No, you won't. Yes, I will. Even if you don't, cause I don't want you to. I don't want you to have to be next to your work. I know you're gonna be busy. Send me some transportation. Um, uh, what you talk about? All right, AT seater. Internet, Wi-Fi, steak, whatever you want to eat. <laughs> you know we're recording this. <laughs> All right. Hey man, I'm gonna tell you straight up. When I know the dates, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna get to you. I'm gonna work on it. I'm gonna get to you. Now he's working on it. <laughs> right. No, it's done. Okay, well it's done. There it's it is. Done. No, no, it's no. done. What you mean? I can't imagine what that must feel like out there, bro. Man. 
Like even but even with, with my like creative process, like especially when I'm making a record, I gotta be back home. Oh really though? Yeah, the energy. So is you gotta. Different. It's a. Di- oh. When you just pick up, you just Africa's. When I spell Africa, it's, it's supposed like, I, I don't know how to spell. It's like, it's not real. Oh shit! Don't say that. <laughs> no, like you know. Gotta I gotta mean. walk outside right now. And no, I gotta you know smell what it. I mean. Like, but when you go to Africa, you smell the food. You smell the gas. Mm. Smell the food. Pepper, chicken, oh. everything. Going take you to the market to buy. You. It's Man, and you're going to have a show too, right? Of course. Okay, I, I, want, I want that to be the priority. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. But man, but, thank you for coming you, into the neighborhood, I, bro. I definitely need to invest in some property. You know what I'm saying? Lagos is about to be like the next spot for like really? investment. And stuff hey, like man, that. no, no, not playing. I was just at a meeting uh, probably two, three days ago. And the meeting was about what they how they, they built something in Dubai. Okay. And then Legos was connected by people saying, man, this person that I'm sitting with was like, there's money that's going over to, to Legos. Tell you. Big boys. Crazy. Eddie Kata comes out. Man, hold on, man. Give me your dad's number. <laughs> um, I'm, going, I'm going to end this real quick, man, so I can jump on with your dad as well. All right. Yo, funny enough, if you see my dad walking down the street, you would not know from Canopy. He has really? Good. Very humble. Hey, man, well, shoot me a picture. I'm drop an airdrop a picture. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, but well, thank you, brother. Thank you, baby. Hey, man, we're we not going to leave it here, brother. We're going we gonna to do this again and again and for again. For sure, for sure, for sure. Davido in the neighborhood. Davido, David O, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Man. It, depend, it, dep- it depends on where you at. Right. But no, nah, on the real, bro, thank you for coming into the thank neighborhood, man. I really enjoyed your energy, homie. There it is right there, man. Big boy in the neighborhood. <laughs>